They say anyone can be a hacker now. Install a flashy OS like Kali, Parrot, or maybe Arch, type a few commands from a sketchy form, switch your terminal to green, and suddenly you're the chosen one. But behind all the noise, Reddit scripts, fake YouTube tutorials, recycled TikTok tips, most never scratch the surface of what hacking really is. They panic at the first error and celebrate when they guess a friend's weak password. They toss around buzzwords like SQL injection, without a clue what it actually breaks. Some still brag about hacking mainframes, like it's 1995. The truth? They haven't even entered the game. They're stuck at the loading screen, confusing drama for discipline and shortcuts for skill. They think hacking starts with tools. That Kaylee Linux makes you dangerous. That copy-pasting from ChatGPT makes you unstoppable. But real hackers? They don't chase scripts. They chase understanding. They break systems not for chaos, but for clarity. And that journey? It has levels, each one deeper, harder, lonelier, and far more real than anything Hollywood ever showed you. Level 1. The Beginner. This is where the awakening begins. Tools like Nmap teach you to scan targets. But now, you don't just copy a command, you analyze the output. You learn what each open port could mean, which services are vulnerable, which versions leak more than they should. Wireshark isn't just packet noise anymore. You recognize protocols, spot authentication leaks, and follow TCP handshakes like trails through a forest. Burp Suite becomes more than a gi. It's your lab. You capture requests, tweak parameters, inject payloads, and study the difference in server responses like a detective looking for inconsistencies. You use Nikto and actually read the warnings, cross-reference them, and verify them manually. Slowly, the tools stop being magic boxes. They become extensions of your thinking. Every small win gives you a rush. Every real insight reminds you there's more beneath the surface. And just when you start to feel confident, reality hits. This is only the beginning. Welcome to the Dunning-Kruger cliff. Most fall, few climb. Level 2. The CTF player. Now it's not just tools, it's tactics. You dive into Try Hack Me and Hack the Box and suddenly, every machine is a puzzle. Layered with clues, misdirections, and buried vulnerabilities. You learn by cracking. SQL injections teach you how broken queries expose entire databases. XSS shows you how fragile browsers can be. You spawn reverse shells with Netcat or MSF Venom, and it clicks. Access is just the beginning. The real game is privilege escalation. You crack passwords with Hydra and John the Ripper, not just to break in, but to understand weak human habits that leak into tech. Then one day, you hit a wall. You've been working on a single box for hours, stuck, lost, exhausted, and some 16-year-old kid solves it in four minutes. No notes, no tutorials, just instinct. They've trained their brain like a weapon, solving logic flaws, chaining exploits, navigating Linux like second nature. You watch their walkthrough later and realize they didn't do anything crazy. They just understood. They've done this a thousand times, and that's when it hits you. CTFs aren't about winning. They're about learning why you lost. Every box you fail becomes your teacher. Every success rewires your thinking. You stop rushing. You start reading. You begin writing your own notes, documenting payloads building mental libraries, and slowly, you stop being the one watching and start becoming the one solving. This isn't just hacking anymore. This is the grind that forges mastery. Level 3. The real-world hacker. You've left the playground. This isn't simulation anymore. This is live fire. You're on Hacker 1, Bug Crowd, Synac. Hunting real flaws in systems used by millions. Now every target has legal scope, every action has risk, and every bug can mean impact. You begin with a mass to map subdomains, sublist third to uncover forgotten assets, and deerbuster to brute force paths most developers forgot existed. But tools only take you so far, so you start crafting payloads manually. You fuzz endpoints, you chain bugs that seem harmless alone but devastating together. Burp Suite Pro becomes your surgical instrument. You don't scan anymore. You inspect, manipulate, and exploit with precision. You exploit IDORs, SSRF, race conditions, and logic flaws. Not because they're easy, but because they're often missed. And when you find one, you write a report like a professional, with impact, replication steps, and mitigation. Because now, your work doesn't just show off, it secures. And slowly, you change. You stop trusting anything. Open Wi-Fi, USB drives, QR codes. You isolate your environments, run virtual machines, rotate VPN chains, and watch your digital hygiene like a surgeon scrubbing in. Level 4. The Researcher. At this level, hacking becomes an obsession with the unseen. You're no longer exploiting known flaws. You're uncovering the ones no one else has noticed yet. You open malware samples with Ghidra, diving into decompiled Java, C, or assembly code, peeling back layers to understand what it does, how it hides, and where it infects. Ida Pro becomes your microscope. You map out binary structures, inspect memory regions, and label function calls to find the precise location of vulnerability. Every buffer overflow becomes a story. Who wrote this? What they missed? 
and how that one missing bounce check can lead to RCE. You build your own exploits, raw shellcode, handcrafted payloads, and complex memory manipulation chains. This is where you start hunting zero days, analyzing kernel drivers, dissecting heap managers. You study CVE disclosures, Sure, but the real thrill is in finding the flaw that hasn't been published, that hasn't been patched, that nobody has seen. Yet, you read academic papers, security mailing lists, and obscure technical blogs like Treasure Maps. At this point, you don't think like a hacker anymore. You think like a system architect, a cryptographer, a scientist. You don't break systems for fun. You break them to understand what trust in software even means. You live in hex dumps, sleep in disassembly, and dream of logic errors. You're not just ahead of the curve anymore. Level 5. The Ghost. This is the final evolution. Not of skill, but of silence. No usernames, no posts, no digital fingerprints. You don't exist in communities. You don't flex on X. You operate under layers built from scratch. A stack of Tor relays, Wunix environments, air-gapped systems, custom-coded VPN chains, and maybe even disposable hardware. Your tools? All private. Built for one job. Never uploaded never shared. Before you even touch a target, you've mapped your trail in reverse, hiding exit nodes, poisoning logs, and scripting your own self-cleanup protocols. You use proxy chains like armor, cloak commands and bash obfuscation, spoof max, route through compromised routers. You're not just anonymous, you're unreadable. You don't chase bounty boards, you don't care about CVEs. You're in systems no one knows were breached, leaving zero logs, zero impact, just presence. Nation-grade security? That's your testing ground. If there's a digital border, you're already past it. But what defines you most isn't what you do, it's what you don't show. You don't screenshot, you don't brag, you don't sign anything. Because once you reach this level, the only real power left is being completely invisible. No glory, no followers, no trace. You don't hack for fame, you don't hack for money. You hack because you've mastered the art of disappearing. You are the ghost in the wire. So, where are you right now? Still running tools you barely understand? Still flexing screenshots instead of sharpening skills? Or are you past that? Breaking systems to build wisdom? Moving silently through layers most never see? Every level is a mirror. It shows you what you are and what you're not yet. And if you felt exposed watching this, good. That's how growth begins. Now shut down the noise, stop pretending, and start climbing. Because the real hackers, they don't chase views, they chase mastery. So if you're serious about learning, Subscribe now because what's coming next could change how you hack forever. And if you enjoyed this, like, share, and comment down below. Let's build this hacker community together. See you in the next one.